Do I look sufficiently like a forest man today? With my wool sweater? Travel leaves me restless and hungry for more. The more I search, the more I find, and the more I want. It's like a cycle that keeps on giving. I rented a bicycle. They gave me a helmet. Doesn't look very good on me, but you know, safety first. Uh, my GoPro is dead. I uh, I think it turned on inside my luggage, and I um, didn't know. So I'm charging it right now. So I'm using my DSLR to do all this. Otherwise, it would have been some cool like bike footage. But I am on my way to um, Stanley Park. I'm gonna ride the bike around there and check out some pretty cool areas. So I'm actually really glad I did this. <laughs> so what do you think? Does it remind you of Long Beach? A lot of late nights on this trip. So I might have said this in another video, I can't remember, but so my glasses. I only need my glasses to see from afar so I can see my camera, but I can't see anything past my camera. As soon as I discovered where Dead Man's Island was, I looked for directions, rented a bike, and headed right over. It turns out this small island is now a naval base and closed to the public. To give you a little history, Dead Man's Island is said to be haunted. In fact, lots of naval reservists report hearing moans, footsteps, and furniture moving around. The Squamish Natives of the land now called Vancouver reported the island as cursed. It's said to be where a great battle was fought and where many restless souls now lay. In the 1800s, a smallpox epidemic took out lots of people, but not before being quarantined on Dead Man's Island. Smallpox had a high death rate, so many of the infected died on the island. The island was also caught in the middle of the Great Vancouver Fire, a fire that swept through Vancouver, destroying a large portion of the city, causing lots of casualties and I was curious to see if I could explore it. I know it's really tempting, but I love that they put a sign. Look. Just in case, just in case you were thinking about it. Okay, so they told me it would be beautiful, and I don't know why I'm shocked, but it's beautiful. It really is amazing. And I just walked in. I haven't even reached the bridge yet. Look, check this out. Okay, hold on. Uh, boat right there. Okay, let's take a picture. Fake, huh? I promise you it's not a green screen.
so I'm doing the treetop adventure now. In an effort to not sound cheesy, I think it's really magical. It's like, I love it. <clears throat> kind of feels like Santa Cruz, like I'm back home again. I love it, I love it, I love it. Check this out. Vancouver was the perfect getaway for me. It made me curious about the afterlife, but made me hungry for actual life. The only question I have now is, is there time to do it all in one lifetime? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs>